The president now declaring the H1N1 outbreak a national emergency. The White House says the president signed this proclamation last night. It will allow medical officials to bypass certain federal requirements. Some officials describe this move as being similar to a declaration ahead of a hurricane making landfall. But certainly a heads up on the White House's front on this. For more on the president's H1N1 emergency declaration, we're going to MSNBC's Mike Vicara live at the White House. So can you put this in perspective for us? You know, we hear these declarations before a hurricane makes lamp right. their national emergencies. It waives certain federal requirements. How right. does this work in a health situation like this? Well, it's relatively rare for, a, for this to be declared in a health situation. We know this much because last April, when the H1N1 virus first came to the fore of public consciousness, a similar step happened. Federal officials were quick to point out that there's no reason for this to uh, uh, make anybody panic. This mm -hmm. is simply something that we're doing in terms of preparation. A lot of it has to do with logistics. Of course, it all happens in the context of a slow delivery of the H1N1 virus. Expectations were raised high. Everybody thought there would be more dose. You've been talking about it all morning, Alex, and now they're talking about November. The government thus far has blamed that on the manufacturers. Let me read you a little bit from the proclamation here that President Obama signed last night, incidentally. It was just made public this morning. The president says, as a nation, we've prepared at all levels of government. Then he goes on, nevertheless, the 2009 H1N1 pandemic continues to evolve. The rates of illness continue to rise rapidly within many communities across the nation, and the potential exists for the pandemic to overburden health care resources in some localities, thus in recognition of the continuing progression of the pandemic. And in further preparation as a nation, we're taking additional steps to facilitate our response. And he goes on later to reiterate that uh, this illness may overburden health care resources. We've already seen lines. A lot of that has to do with the shortage and the shortfall of the vaccine, which, they mm -hmm. again, they had expected to see more of at this point in the process. Right. OK. And of course, the White House has no control at this point over the development of that vaccine. That is something that scientists and medical officials certainly do. And apparently for many, that can't get out there fast enough. Okay, Mike Vakira, thank you very much for the okay, update on the breaking news from the White House. And for the latest on the government's response to the H1N1 outbreak, you can all log on to flu.gov.